Thank you. You may please be seated. Good evening, and thank you to everyone for joining us tonight uh, to celebrate the graduating class of 2023. Let's give them an opening round of applause. Is it, it is always impressive to see the, the awards and honors that the community so generously bestows um, on our graduates and all of the stories that are told that connect to those scholarships given in memoriam to those who, who reach out from other communities to, to provide support and help to the students who are you know, moving forward in their lives. So I think they make up an important part of this, this fabric of our community. So thank you again for attending. Um, I would like to introduce Angela Hutchins, the senior class advisor. Leadership requires courage and commitment. It means you do the best and be the best you can be in that moment. You look out for, consider, and show up for others. The following students have been committed to service in this class through their role as senior class officers, and I would like to formally thank them for all they have done over the years. Berkeley Hutchins. Marlena King. <laughs> Eben Mosier. <laughs> Isaiah Rivet. <laughs> Stephen Sawyer. and Janie Thompson. Welcome family, friends, and faculty to our 2023 Senior Honors Night. Thank you for joining us this evening in recognizing our class and our achievements. It is with the support of our community that we are able to continue our future endeavors, and so we thank you. At this time, we'd like to invite our first presenter, Mr. John Clark from the Chester High School, Green Mountain Union High School's Alumni Association. Good evening and congratulations to the class. Uh, this is Colleen Whitney. She uh, actually went to Chester High School and she is our, our secretary of the Alumni Association. So for the last 124 years, um, Chester Alumni and now Green Mountain Alumni Association has been supporting students in this community for 124 years. Um, so we have a scholarship committee that comprised about six of us and we had 24 applicants this year. It's, it's really a tough job. You keep narrowing them down and narrowing them down and uh, you wanna give them all you, all, you want to give everybody a check, and we give out two $1,000 checks a year, and these are all contributions from the community. It's a, it's a healthy account, and we very active organization at doing community service in the area. So this year, we have uh, two winners. Would Chloe Ayer please come forward? Riley Paul. Applause 
I'd like to invite Mrs. Rita Pierce to the stage to present the Sammy Pierce Scholarship. Good evening, graduates, friends, and family. Um, 20 years ago, after my husband died in a tragic accident, fellow realtors from the Southern Vermont Realtors Board established a scholarship in his name that has continued all these years. Sam was well known for his kindness to everyone, patience, friendliness, positive outlook, and willingness to always help others. This scholarship was established for students who also have an excellent record of volunteering multiple services through their busy high school years. Uh, I consider it a great privilege to be here this evening to honor one of this year's seniors who also has an excellent record of participation in volunteer activities. Congratulations, Marlena King. Please welcome Polly Montgomery from the Chester Rotary Club. Some of you may have come to our trivia night, which is one of our fundraisers. Um, for the scholarship fund. Um, so tonight I have the honor of presenting five scholarships. But first, a little background. The Chester Rotary Scholarship is awarded to students graduating from Green Mountain High School and who plan to go on to college, university, or a training school program for a certain trade. Those chosen for the $1,000 scholarship demonstrate the attributes that embody the motto of Rotary, service above self. The scholarship is based on the following criteria, academic ability, community service, peer leadership, sports, extracurricular activities, work experience, financial need, and the ability to write a meaningful essay. This year, we also interviewed the candidates in person, and that was a delightful experience. I was so proud of them, as you should be. They were articulate. The eye contact was very present. Um, they were wonderful. It was very difficult to narrow down our choices. So tonight, I would like to present the following scholarships. Jack Hinckley. Marlena King. <laughs> Eben Mosier. <laughs> Riley Paul. <laughs> and Janie Thompson. Oh, Jane, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you all. From the Ludlow Rotary Club, please welcome Jim Rumrell.
This evening, the Ludlow Rotary Club is awarding four scholarships to students pursuing higher education at accredited institutions. The selection of our recipients is based on the following criteria, scholastic achievement, financial need, realistic goals, extracurricular activities and community service, each category being equally weighted. Additionally, the recipient must reside in a town within the service area of the Ludlow Rotary Club, which would be Ludlow, Cavendish, Plymouth, or Mount Holly. Over the past years, the Ludlow Rotary Club has proudly awarded over $300,000 in scholarships to local students. Our scholarships are named in honor of lifelong Rotarians who have dedicated themselves to our motto of service above self. It's my, ple my pleasure to present scholarship as follows. The Daniel Kesman Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 is alerted to Chloe Ayer. <laughs> the Robert W. Kirkbride Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 goes to Mia Valenti. <laughs> was coached on the correct pronunciation. <laughs> the Ralph Hogenkamp Scholarship in the, in the amount of $2,000 goes to Jack Hinckley. <laughs> and the traditional Ludlow Rotary Club uh, Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 goes to Liam O'Brien. Congratulations to all graduating seniors. Thank you. Please welcome Kelly Tully from Coda and Coda, who will be presenting the Hugh Coda Scholarship. I'm just going to clarify my name slightly. It's Kelly Coda Tully. And this scholarship is in honor of my father. Make sure I say it right. So I want to congratulate all the seniors. It's only been 40 years since I was sitting where you guys are sitting. Um, so tonight that I have the privilege of giving this scholarship, um, the Hugh Coda Technical Scholarship in honor of my father. This was established by the Coda and Coda employees. It is to recognize Hugh Coda, who is the second generation owner of Coda and Coda, for his commitment to technical education, HVAC careers, and his high ideals of leadership through service to others. The scholarship is awarded to a graduate entering a technical or vocational trade school, but whom also holds the values that Hugh exemplified. So this year's scholarship recipient is Jack Hinckley. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please welcome Chris Ainsworth, who will present the Masonic Olive Branch Lodge 64. Good evening, my name is Chris Ainsworth and I'm the Warshall Master at uh, the Chester Masonic Lodge here in town. Olive Branch Lodge number 64 has two scholarships each year to two graduating seniors. After reading through the scholarship applications and learning about each student, it was clear there was so much talent in this graduating class. A committee of several lodge members looked over each application and after many conversations, we narrowed it down to these two students. We hope that these scholarships assist these students in uh, attaining their educational goals. It is my pleasure to award two $1,000 scholarships to Chloe Ayer. Thank you. 
and Brody Massey. At this time, I'd like to welcome Sue Willis from the American Legion Auxiliary, post number 36. I'm actually representing post 67 American Legion Auxiliary here in Chester. 36 is Ludlow, but that's okay. We'll welcome Ludlow, too. So I was not on the scholarship committee, um, but talking to the members there, um, this was the largest pool of applications they've had in over seven years. So they had their work cut up for them. Um, and we are giving out two $1,000 scholarships, one to Chloe Eyre, <laughs> and the second goes to Berkeley. Hutchins. Please welcome Beverly Hart to present the J. Hart Memorial Scholarship. Thank you and congratulations. Um, I'm giving this scholarship in memory of my brother Jay, who um, was the class of 72. He was the president of his class. And so this is our 38th year as a family giving a scholarship away. Um, some of my family is far away, so the digital applications will be really good for us next year. We did it for the first time this year. Um, we usually go through them and try and pick someone that we think that my brother would want and that aligns with the way he was. He was very involved in school, uh, did some sports, and was involved in the community. <clears throat> um, so the person that we picked, the last sentence in her application, or one of the last sentences, we really liked, and I'm going to read it. It says, after college, I want to live in a community that values diversity, open-mindedness, equity and equality and those are really important and they were important to my brother Jay and this goes to Marlena King. Please welcome Susan Gordon who will present the Heath Gordon Memorial Scholarship. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm here to present the Heath Gordon Scholarship, which we started in memory of my son, who graduated here at Green Mountain. We decided to give it to a student who excelled in the field of music or art, as those were a big part of his life. From an early age, Heath seemed to come naturally to creating things. It was like when he looked at something, his mind was deciding what he could make more of it. Um, I went to a parent-teacher conference when he was in the early grades, and the teacher told me he usually finished his work ahead of the other kids. And the only problem was he would sit quietly at his desk and draw pictures, and all the other kids gathered around his desk and watched him draw instead of finishing their work. And she thought that was pretty funny. Music also played a big part in his life. He taught himself to play guitar, and he composed songs. Around age 18, he started a rock band. We began this scholarship 10 years ago, and thus far have given away $50,000. Thanks to the generosity of this community, <coughs> excuse me, and the work of my son Sam and his wife. So tonight, it is my pleasure 
to announce that the recipient of the Heath Gordon Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 goes to Courtney Spaulding. I'd like to invite Selena Meisenhelder to present the One Credit Union Scholarship. All right, well, good evening, seniors, family, friends, and Green Mountain staff. My name is Selena. I am an alumni here from Green Mountain. I graduated here 15 years ago. Um, actually, I think it was exactly June 9th, 15 years ago. Um, I remember sitting in those very seats for my senior honors night, um, and I remember pondering about my future and what it was going to look like and what was going to happen. Um, I now have the honor this evening of representing One Credit Union as Chester's branch manager. Each year, One Credit Union selects seven students from the communities that it serves. This student will be awarded $2,000 per year, up to four years of consecutive higher education. When reviewing applicants from Chester, the CEO was the one who looked at them. This student stood out from her peers. She explained the importance of community, stays busy with a full schedule of extracurricular activities, and has demonstrated hard work and dedication through her high school. So without further ado, One Credit Union is proud to award the 2023 Senior Scholarship to Berkeley Hutchins. Please welcome Renee Call, who will present the Penny Waddell Memorial Scholarship. I'd like to start off by congratulating the class of 2023. Um, you've all worked very hard. I've seen it. You know, I do get to witness it working here, and <laughs> sometimes it's a haul, but, you know, congratulations on getting here. You, you guys should definitely be applauded for that. Um, I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, and um, now a little history about how we started my mom's scholarship. Um, the Penny Waddell Scholarship was started in 2010 as a way to honor the memory of my mother, who was a very dedicated special education teacher that was taken too soon. Penny was a well-known and respected teacher in her community, so knowing this, we knew that a scholarship award set, uh, excuse me, set up in her name would be the best way con to continue her legacy and keep her love of education and supporting students alive. Penny started her career here at Green Mountain as a special education teacher in 1973. She also had a hand in starting up the alternative learning program we had for a while, Opportunities in Learning. She did some amazing things in her time as a special education teacher. She had this way of connecting with her students. She was not only the teacher, but someone they could turn to for guidance and support. <clears throat> Her days didn't end when she walked out the door. There are countless times I can remember when she would be at home on the phone with parents for sometimes hours at a time. And there were often times when kids would just stop by her house looking for a place to go with someone to talk to or a shoulder to cry on. She gave great advice and gave the best hugs. She could be stern, but she was also good at gaining their respect as well as giving it in return. And that went a long way with her students. She taught her students, students excuse me, self-worth and that they could be anything they wanted to be. <clears throat> she was always willing to go the extra mile for them. She would even go out of her way to make sure that her students that were less fortunate had things they needed, like clothes to wear, gifts at Christmas, 
or if a girl needed a dress for a prom, she would make sure they had one. There have been many people over the years that had Penny as their teacher. Many of them said that they never would have made it through high school into graduation without her. Having her students make it to graduation was something that was very important to her throughout her teaching career. Excuse me. She would attend as many graduations as she could, beaming with pride each time and delivering one of those hugs that she was so good at giving. She made sure that she was always present and there for support when it was needed. As the class of 2003 put it in their yearbook, they dedicated to her and Mike LeClaire after they were given the, the opportunity of choosing new advisors because my mom and Mike were moving on to the new location and opportunities. Um, their quote said, why should we give up on them when they never gave up on us? And that's a true testament to who my mom was. She never gave up on them, no matter how dire the situation could be at times. <laughs> she was great at what she did and always had a way of getting through to even the toughest kids. Uh, there's a saying by Lisa Wingate that I came across, and it spoke to me, and is the reason why I get up here and tell you her story every year. We die once when the last breath leaves our bodies. We die a second time when the last person speaks our name. The first death is beyond our control, but the second one we can strive to prevent. So, in honor of Penny, this year's recipients of the Penny Waddell Scholarship Award are Jasmine Curley and Courtney Spaulding. On behalf of the Two Rivers East Education Association, please welcome Ali Oswald. Good evening. On behalf of the members of the Two Rivers East Education Association, I am pleased to award a scholarship to a graduating senior who plans to pursue a career in education. We give this award each year in memory of our deceased colleagues who sadly passed away during the height of their career. Those teachers are Patricia Bonzoff, Kevin Plunkett, Ray Diet, Elizabeth Mitchell, Lori Hannes, Barbara Griggs Martin, and Penny Waddell. This year's recipient is Marlena King. Congratulations, Marlena. Thank you. Please welcome Lisa Schmidt to present the Frank Dressler Scholarship. Dressler Scholarship is given in memory of Frank Dressler, Black River High School's ultimate fan for several years. In his retirement, Frank moved to Ludlow and began attending Black River's home games when he noticed the, the lights on at Dorsey Park. Frank was hooked on the presidents. Soccer led to basketball, which led to baseball and softball. Home games led to away games and to friendship and commitment. Frank loved the kids and the sports they played, and the athletes appreciated his ever-present support, honoring him with signed team photos and an honorary BR number one fan jacket. If Frank wasn't in his usual seat, it was for a very good reason, which he was sure to share just so we all knew where he was. An ultimate fan and supporter in winning seasons, as well as those that were not so successful, rain or shine, Frank was there to support his team. When Frank passed away, he donated money to the Booster Club for the kids. In her application essay, she wrote, being an ultimate fan means way more to me than just watching. It makes me happy. It's something I look forward to all the time. Being there supporting, cheering them on is something I've always loved. The official scholarship certificate will be presented at the Black River Academy Museum's Ice Cream Social on Sunday. 
we are pleased to award a $500 Frank Dressler Scholarship to Riley Paul. All right, please welcome to the stage Michelle Farr to present our English Department Awards. Good evening, sorry. Um, my name is Michelle Farr and I am, the, um, I am the head of the English department and it's a pleasure to be here uh, with this class of phenomenal students, many of whom I've known for a very long time. Uh, some I first became acquainted with uh, during their 10th grade year when Mr. Rickles was not here. Um, it is my pleasure this evening to present um, the Certificate of Academic Excellence in Language Arts class uh, classes throughout the years. Um, and I apologize for any of you who have given, uh, Mr. Bate has given a hard time about uh, deadlines. He emailed <laughs> me moments ago uh, the words he wanted me to say. So I'm gonna attempt to read them from my phone. Uh, <laughs> all right, so from Mr. Bate. It was difficult to choose just one student for the English award this year. There were many high-performing students, all of whom deserved recognition. What made this student stand out was his ability to produce consistently excellent work, even under stressful circumstances, his willingness to take risks, his leadership, and his insightful, self-reflective thinking and writing. When all his peers were unwilling or afraid to offer their ideas in class discussions, he could be counted on to start the conversation, always helping us to separate the essential from the trivial in the given topic. In class, he invariably responded to others with respect and thoughtfulness. If someone needed help or didn't understand the work, his patience and understanding made him a great mentor. Creative, analytical, and deeply reflective, he demonstrated a rare an effective combination of intellect and humanity. And I would concur 100% with, now that I've read them, with Mr. B. Uh, the English department would like to give our award to graduating senior uh, Jack Hinckley. Garvin, would you please join us on this stage to present the Science and Mathematics Awards. Okay, um, so I have the honor tonight of doing double duty for both the science and the math uh, departments. Um, so we're gonna start with science. Um, so I have a few class certificates to uh, reward academic excellence. So the first one for excellence in principles of biology goes to Oda Brenhagen. The next several awards are for excellence in physics. Um, the first one goes to Marlena King. Evan Mosier. And I would like to point out that uh, Mr. Mosier has been the, uh, part of the only team to defeat the teachers in battle physics. The only time it's ever happened. It's the only time it will ever happen. Our, our next award goes to Liam O'Brien.
And the last one to Janie Thompson. So um, for our science department award, um, I have the honor of recognizing a student has, who has gone above and beyond their whole time here at Green Mountain Union High School. Um, they have doubled the science requirement uh, for the classes taken. Um, they continually challenge themselves and they always show excellent work. And besides that, she's a really, really, really nice person. So please congratulate Greta Bernier. Now I'm switching hats to uh, recognize math department. Um, and once again, we have some class awards. Um, the first are for Mr. Bolin for excellence in math. Uh, so congratulate Evan Moser. <laughs> Riley Paul. <laughs> Liam O'Brien. The next set of awards are from Ms. Bushy for Excellence in Personal Finance. And these go to Mia Valente. <laughs> Janie Thompson. <laughs> Courtney Spaulding. Brody Massey. <laughs> Tristan Anderson. <laughs> Tegan Sheehan. <laughs> Connor Miles. And the final set of awards is from Ms. Flack for Diligence in Algebra 2. Courtney Spaulding. <laughs> Jake Goodman. <laughs> and Oda Brenhagen. And finally, this brings us to the math award for the year. The recipient of this year's math award is a responsible and engaged learner. Her capacity for logical and analytical thinking combined with strong habits of reflection and justification bring her both personal mathematical proficiency and also make her a role model to others. She strives for conceptual understanding making sense of new knowledge in ways that expand on what she already knows. All these traits combined with her attentive, dependable, and approachable personality make her an excellent resource to others and a valuable collaborator in the classroom. She is kind and someone you can count on. For all these reasons and more, I am proud to announce that the math award goes to Janie Thompson. Melissa Palmer, please join us on the stage to present the History Department Awards. <laughs> this 
seniors, you've come a long way since seventh grade. <laughs> Congratulations, it's been a pleasure to teach you over the last six years. Um, I'm gonna start with some classroom awards for seniors that I had the pleasure of teaching in my US history classes. Um, first up, excellence in US history, Luna Berkland. Oda Brenhaugen. And Isabella Wilfong. And now for excellence in AP US history, Greta Bernier. and Mia Valente. All right, the Social Studies Department gives out two awards. Uh, the first one is the Social Studies Department Award. This year, this award goes to a student who's exhibited amazing growth over their six years at Green Mountain. In seventh grade, the student was an extremely kind and quiet student who produced high quality work, but seemed to not fully understand how much they had to offer. They were the type of student who you enjoyed having in the classroom, but you wish they would realize how amazing they were. Fast forward today, and you find a student who is confident in their strong ability to analyze history and civics. A student who can make connections between different social studies classes to deepen their understanding of history. This student completes the highest quality work, always putting in their best efforts. This student made the choice to challenge themselves by taking AP US history this year and consistently handed in work that showed thought and effort. And most importantly, this student has showed tremendous growth and their ability to engage in class discussions during their time here at Green Mountain. They've become a student who recognizes what they are capable of and was a dependable participant in class discussions. The 2020, no, yeah, 2023 Social Studies Department Award goes to Mia Valente. All right, the second award we give out is the Herodotus Award. This award is named after the Greek writer and historian Herodotus also known as the father of history. He's known for having written the histories, a detailed account of the Greco-Persian Wars. Herodotus was the first writer to perform systematic investigation of historical events. This award goes to the student in the graduating class who loves history. This year's Herodotus Award goes to a student who loves to learn and debate about both history and politics. This student's sharp analysis of history follows through to his analysis and sophisticated interest in politics. This student understands that it all connects together. When I told Mr. Hill who the award was going to this year, his response was, that is perfect. As a department, we want to recognize Isaiah Rivet as this year's recipient of the Herodotus Award. Truly, truly earned. <laughs> I had the pleasure of having these students in eighth grade as well, so I, I can say, yes, these things, these trends hold true. Um, I'd like to please welcome Alex Brady to the stage to present Music and Drama Department Award. Good evening, everybody. The first award I have to present is the John Philip Sousa Band Award. This goes to a student that has shown great dedication and it's an outstanding musicianship as a member of the band program at Green Mountain. This student has been a staple in our program for the last three years and has gone above and beyond many times for the betterment of the ensemble and its members. It is my pleasure 
to present this award to Stephen Sawyer. The second award I have to give is the National School Choral Award. This goes to a student who has shown great dedication and achievement in the choral classroom. As a member of this ensemble, this student has been a constant leader for others. She constantly leads by example and works to not only improve her own musicianship, but the people around her as well. It is my pleasure to present this award to Luna Berkland. The final award I'll be presenting tonight is the Green Mountain Drama Award. Normally, this award goes to one student, but this year I couldn't just pick one, so I picked three. <laughs> These students have been foundational pieces of the drama program here at Green Mountain. They constantly went above and beyond, and we definitely wouldn't have been able to achieve the level of success that we have without them. It's my pleasure to present the Green Mountain Drama Award to the following three students. Luna Berkland. Philip Malazarte. And Stephen Sawyer. Welcome Michael Bennett to the podium to award the Industrial Arts Awards. Sorry, students, this is why I always have a hat on. Uh, now you get to see. I hate coming in the auditorium, but uh, bald. I'm all bald, that's why. Anyway. So these two students, uh, I can't help but wonder some reason why they didn't get awards maybe uh, so far tonight is because they're always in the wood shop. So it's, it's going to be no surprise to anybody that is familiar with the wood shop uh, who Mr. Bennett's two best students were the last two years. Um, these two students, I'm really proud to have had them and, uh, and feel a special pressure that uh, hopefully I taught them something the amount of time that I have had them in the last two years. And uh, they couldn't be more opposite from each other, but uh, uh, I'm extremely proud of the maturity that they both had and the young men that they've become, and I can't wait to see uh, their future ahead. The first, uh, first one is, uh, goes to the future woodshop teacher, Austin Studley. <laughs> And I'm also proud of this student. Uh, this student last summer uh, came in. Uh, last year, his reply to everything I would say, I know Mr. Bennett, I know. And then uh, he went to work for his father all summer, and then he came back in this year and said, he, with an open ear ready to learn. And I was like, oh, I think he uh, learned quick that I think I might know what I'm talking about a little bit. But uh, uh, Ryan Devereaux, looking forward to you in your future. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, we will present the Student of the Month Awards for our seniors. These are seniors who uh, reflect uh, the, their understanding of the importance of relationship, respect, and responsibility within the school community. They act as leaders and understand the importance of being an active citizen within their school and beyond. Our first award for the month of April going back a couple of months, uh, goes to Mia Valente. <laughs> Luna Berkland. <laughs> Oda Brenhagen.
Marlena King. And last but not least, Janie Thompson. Jane Thompson. <laughs> of course. Please welcome to the stage Angela Hutchins and Krista Valente, who will present yearbook awards. Angela and I have the Yearbook Recognition Awards. Um, working on yearbook involves a lot of hours and dedication, um, from taking photos at events to making decisions about covers and layouts, senior pages and superlatives. This group has not only worked hard on their senior book, but almost all of them um, have participated since their ninth grade year. Um, we'll be sad to lose them as anchors of our staff. Would the following students please come forward to receive your awards and pins. Riley Paul. <laughs> Berkeley Hutchins. <laughs> Courtney Spaulding. and Mia Valenti. I'm also here to present the Senior uh, Department Pin Awards for the Art Department. Um, we have a lot of very artistic and creative students this graduating class, um, but we had to select no more than two students for the award. Um, the two students selected have enrolled in art-related post-graduation studies. Um, Chloe Jenkins, can you come? So, um, Chloe's known for the paintings that have brightened the halls of GM, drawings and digital art that appeared in the gallery, as well as the marquee that represented the musical this past spring. Chloe's worked hard in the art program at Green Mountain. As Chloe's art teachers, we have been extremely impressed with both Chloe's technical ability and motivation. The creativity flows without effort, always applying sensitivity and originality to every project. Chloe spent countless hours in the art room, experimenting with new facets in the art field, providing dedication and commitment. Chloe plans to attend Maine College of Art in Portland, Maine in the fall. It's our honor to present her with the department award and pin. Courtney Spaulding, can you come up here? So Courtney has been a fixture in the art room, not only taking several art classes, but spending her free time working on art projects, yearbook, or helping out however she can. Her dedication to yearbook, art, and photography is admirable and inspiring. Courtney is not only creative, she is unapologetically herself. She is polite, engaged, helpful, inquisitive, and is always up for anything. We are so excited for her to pursue her passions beyond high school. Courtney will be attending Castleton University in the fall to study photography. It's with great pleasure that we present you with this award. Michelle Farr will now present our Interact Honors Awards. Okay. 
Good evening again. Um, I have had the pleasure of being the Interact Advisor for the last year and a half, uh, working with our, uh, the largest group of students, I believe, uh, in the last many years. Uh, we kind of resurrected the program after COVID and some absences from advisors. Um, so the four seniors that I'm um, awarding their cords to this evening uh, have dedicated themselves to both improving the school community and our community at large. Um, they have undertaken uh, huge initiatives in terms of developing a school-wide uh, thrift store uh, accessible to all of our students and community members. They have participated in the Rotary Penny Sale in Ludlow, the uh, several trivia nights, which have been fun and <laughs> uh, interesting. <laughs> um, uh, we've, they've done fundraisers and are just a wonderful, it's a wonderful group of humans. Uh, so it is my pleasure um, to provide these cords to Marlena King, our president. Janie Thompson. <laughs> Riley Paul. <laughs> and Tegan Sheehan. Thank you. Dr. Andrew Malaby, please come up and present the Environmental Club Awards. Ford. Hello everyone, uh, so I'm the advisor of the Environmental Club and uh, this year we focused on um, a lot of different things in our GM community, so recruitment and advocacy and action in our local um, GM community over the environment. Um, these, these folks that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give these courts to. They really were involved in the sustainability of this club and recruitment of a lot of new people and to allow this club to um, you know, grow for years to come. So it's with great pleasure that I uh, award these cords to three members, Greta Bernier, <laughs> Luna Berkland, <laughs> and Marlena King. And in true environmental club fashion, they are upcycled. <laughs> the GM Spirit Award will be presented this evening by Todd Para. Evening, everybody. Um, the Spirit Award was started in 2016. Um, it's awarded in the spring to a senior student athlete who the athletic department believes reflects the spirit of GM student athletes. We base this on attitude, self discipline, attention to detail, dedication, and most of all, school spirit in the classroom and in athletics. This young woman has demonstrated all these qualities and is the person that we would most want to represent our school as a student athlete. I'm very proud this year to award the Spirit Shield, who will give after this presentation, after it's done, to Berkeley Hutchins.
Wes Johnson was a man of many talents and interests. Photography and journalism were among his favorites. After graduating from Syracuse University, Wes spent about five years working for a small community newspaper in upstate New York before moving to Chester. He and his wife, Teresa, owned and operated the Message for the Week until their retirement in 2004. In that time, his stories and photos captured everything from town news to the many, many school functions he covered. This scholarship is in honor of his contributions to the community, as well as his love of photography and journalism. The Johnson family congratulates Courtney Spaulding and wishes her every best as she continues her education. <laughs> On Sunday, June 5th, the American Legion in Ludlow honored six of our seniors. When I call your name, please stand and be recognized for the Ballard Hobart Post 36 Award, Mia Valente. The VFW Award to Riley Paul. Charles D. Bates Memorial Award, Courtney Spaulding. The John Tapper Memorial Award to Chloe Eyre. The Center for Veterans Ultimate Sacrifice Memorial Award to Liam O'Brien. The Paula Benson Seal Memorial Award to Jack Hinckley. Thank you. The American Legion Auxiliary in Ludlow presents two scholarships in memory of all Gold Star families and in memory of Ella Briggs. This year, they would like to present their awards to Riley Paul and Courtney Spaulding. You will notice that several of our students are wearing blue and white cord this evening. This cord represents successful completion of a River Valley Technical Center program. These students have also earned industry-recognized credentials in their fields of study. We will uh, ask these students to please stand and be recognized. Tristan Anderson in Carpentry. Eliza Berbila, Human Services. Luna Berkland, Culinary Arts. Marissa Downing, Human Services. Jack Hinckley, Industrial Trades. Berkeley Hutchins, Health Sciences. Philip Malazarte, Health Sciences. Connor Miles in Carpentry. And Isaiah Reve in Industrial Trades. And as well from last year, we we'll recognized Ryan Devereaux and Brody Massey. <laughs> On May 31st, <laughs> we'll keep going. On May 31st, the River Valley Technical Center presented the following scholarships. Please stand and be recognized. The Town Fair Tire Tool Chip Award to Luna Berkland and Connor Miles. The Industrial Trades Program Scholarship, Jack Hinckley and Isaiah Reve. The Kurt Deschen Scholarship and the Sandy McGilvery Memorial Scholarship to Berkeley Hutchins. The Roger McNamara Spirit Scholarship to Philip Malazarte. The Seaman Scholarship Foundation supports educational programs in science, technology, engineering, and math in the United States within financial assistance of more than $7 million annually. This year, they have awarded a scholarship to Evan Mosier. The trustees of the public funds of the town of Ludlow are proud to present the Phyllis G. Agan and William W. Agan Scholarship to two students wishing to pursue a career in health-related fields. Congratulations to Chloe Eyre and Riley Paul.
The members of the Order of the Eastern Star are dedicated women and men who sincerely reflect the spirit of fraternal love and the desire to work together for good. It gives them an opportunity to give a part of their time to many projects that benefit mankind. Two awards will be given this evening. The Chester Chapter would like to congratulate Brody Massey. The Ludlow Chapter would like to recognize Chloe Eyre. Springfield Elks was founded to promote and, and practice the four cardinal virtues of charity, justice, brotherly love, and fidelity, to promote the welfare and enhance the happiness of its members. One award is being presented today in recognition of academic achievement, leadership, and community service. Congratulations to Marlena King. The Most Valuable Student Award by the Vermont State Elks Association is in recognition of academic achievement, leadership, and community service. Two of our graduates will be receiving a scholarship that is renewable for four years. Congratulations, Berkeley Hutchins and Eben Mosier. Black River Alumni Association gives out two awards each year to a student residing in Ludlow or Mount Holly. Criteria includes good academic and personal potential for reaching their educational goals and community service. This year, the Alumni Association would like to recognize Riley Paul and Mia Valente. The Alumni Association also gives out a scholarship in memory of the Barton Chiolino families. Please, oh, this year's scholarship is awarded to Chloe Eyre. The Henry V. Haber Memorial Scholarship recognizes students that have demonstrated leadership in sports, the classroom, and in the community. These students must have participated in at least one varsity sport for three years. This year, we are pleased to present the 2023 Henry Haber Scholarship to two deserving students, Jack Hinckley and Berkeley Hutchins. The Green Mountain Union High School Booster Club Scholarship is presented to the student who excels at balancing academics, community service, and personal enrichment. These qualities embody the spirit of the Booster Club. We are pleased to present this year's award to Jane Thompson. The Ludlow Fire Department's Nelson DeRue Benevolent Fund is proud to offer a scholarship to Riley Paul. Mount Escutney Hospital and Health Center Auxiliary awards the Deborah H. Peeler Nurse Scholarship to a student who will be pursuing a degree in nursing. Please stand to be recognized, Philip Brown Melazarte. This year, the Chester Snowmobile Club is pleased to award a scholarship to a deserving student who has a passion for snowmobiling or other outdoor sports. The 2023 Snowmobile Scholarship winner is Brody Massey. <laughs> the Betty McEnany Award is given to a Ludlow or Mount Holly resident who is pursuing a college degree. Congratulations to Mia Valente. The John and Mary Noor Scholarship honors a graduating senior who has shown a strong interest in the arts, exhibits leadership skills, and a commitment to their school and community. This year's recipient is Luna Berkland. The Ludlow Okemo Valley Women's Club is a group united in its dedication to volunteer community service and to the creation of positive change in the Ludlow and surrounding communities. Each year, they give out a scholarship to a deserving student. Congratulations to Jack Hinckley. Thank you. 
The Nicholas A. Leeds Memorial Scholarship is presented to a senior who has demonstrated academic achievement and will be pursuing a field of study at a technical college or university and majoring in technology, science, or mathematics. This year, the year's award goes to Eben Mosier. The Tyson Ladies Aid Society supports the surrounding communities with charitable donations, and they are in charge of the historical Tyson Free Library. This year's award goes to Brody Massey. The Edwards and Douglas Family Scholarship is awarded to students who demonstrate motivation and commitment in pursuing um, continuing education or training in a trade. The recipient of the 2023 award is Jasmine Curley and Isaiah Reve. The Side Hill Croncher's Snowmobile Club, love that one, uh, gives out an award each year to a student who has expressed an interest in the outdoors, environment, nature, animals, and or public safety. This year, the award goes to Marlena King. The next scholarship is given in memory of Joshua Cole, Black River High School class of 19. 96. It was felt by his teammates and coaches that Josh gave more to the game than he received. This award is given annually to a senior boy or girl who best exemplifies Josh's qualities and abilities, sportsmanship, honesty, hustle, and a love of the game. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Riley Paul. The Vermont Association of Snow Travelers has awarded a scholarship to one of our seniors. Please stand to be recognized, Brody Massey. The Cavendish William French chapter is pleased to sponsor the DAR Good Citizen Program at GMAOHS. Each year, the faculty chooses a student from a senior class who demonstrates the qualities of good citizenship, dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. This student has already been notified of this selection, but we ask that they please stand and be recognized. Philip Malazarte. The Charitable Foundation of the Bryant Grinder Company Scholarship is awarded to a senior demonstrating academic achievement and entering a four-year college to pursue degree in sciences. Congratulations to Marlena King. Megris Talk gives out one scholarship to a senior who is interested in earth sciences, engineering, management, environment, health, and safety, or natural sciences. The recipient of the 2023 Talc Award is Greta Bernier. Mac Molding Good Student Scholarship is presented to a senior who has been an outstanding academic record throughout his or her years at Green Mountain has a history of participating in extracurricular activities, community service, and leadership. We are pleased to present this year's award to Jane Thompson. The Sons of the American Legion was founded in 1932 and exists to honor the services and sacrifices of legionnaires. SAL members include males of all ages whose parents, grandparents served in the military. The Ludlow branch of the SAL is awarding a scholarship today to Chloe Eyre. The Vermont Honor Scholarship was created in 1965 by the Vermont State Legislature to recognize excellence in both the classroom and the community. One graduating senior is nominated to receive this award from each Vermont high school. So it's not that many. Uh, the recipient of this year's award has been notified. We ask that she, uh, that this year's Governor Phil Hoff Vermont Honor Scholarship stand and be recognized, Jane Thompson. I'd like to read a letter from Reginald Jones, president of the Frank M. 
and Olive F. Gilman Foundation. Congratulations, graduates, parents, teachers, and friends for doing the work to get here. The Gilman Foundation has been funding students who desire to improve their knowledge and earn power since 1991. Original funding covered three schools for one-time awards. Today, the foundation has grown to cover 19 schools with renewable awards for up to four-year degree. We encourage applications from those aiming for the trades as well as bachelor degrees. Initial awards are based on financial need, references, and essays by the applicants. To continue receiving this award, we only ask that you remain in good standing as a full-time student. We understand how difficult it is to persevere and persist as undergraduate students and want to reward those efforts. Congratulations to the following. Greta Bernier. Jack Hinckley. Berkeley Hutchins. Marlena King. Philip Malazarte. Liam O'Brien. Riley Paul. Tegan Sheehan. Courtney Spaulding. Jane Thompson. And Mia Valente. The Society of Women Engineers acknowledges the accomplishments of young women who have attained high achievement in science and mathematics. Award recipients must have completed three years of both science and math courses with distinction and must be active citizens of their school and community. The Certificate of Merit for Honor in Science and Mathematics is presented to Chloe Ayer. The Certificate of Merit for High Honor in Science and Mathematics is presented to Jane Thompson. The Certificate of Merit for Highest Honors in Science and Mathematics is presented to Greta Bernier. This year, we had one student spend their senior year participating in the early college program. This student spent his year at Castleton University. Joshua Buckley, please come forward to receive your cords. Too bad. I would like to call Ali Oswald and Angela Hutchins to present the National Honor Society cords. Ms. Hutchins and I are, are very proud to give these students the blue and gold cords that signify membership to the National Honor Society. We belong to the Flamstead chapter of the National Honor Society. These students have demonstrated the core values of the National Honor Society, scholarship, character, service, and leadership. Students will wear these cords along with all the pins and other cords they may have received tonight on the day of graduation. Our first senior is Chloe Ayer. Greta Bernier. Luna Berkland. Marissa Downing. Jack Hinckley. <laughs> B 
Berkeley Hutchins. <laughs> Very formal. Marlena King. Philip Malazarte. Look at all those colors. Evan Mosier. <laughs> you got a duck down. Ayla Price. Janie Thompson. And Mia Valente. Both the silver and gold GM pins are awards given by the trustees of the Chester Academy and are awarded to students in recognition of extracurricular activities, honors, awards, and their GPA. The gold GM awards will be presented at graduation, but at this time, I would like the seniors that received their gold GM pin in their junior year uh, to stand and be recognized. Chloe Ayer, Berkeley Hutchins. Seniors that received their silver GM pin as juniors, please stand when we call your name. Greta Bernier. <laughs> Luna Berkland. Jack Hinckley. Marlena King. Eben Mosier. Riley Paul. Courtney Spaulding. And Jane Thompson. Tonight, we will be giving out several silver GM pins as well. When I call your name, please come forward to receive your pin. Jasmine Curley. <laughs> Isaiah Rive. <laughs> and Mia Valente. At this time, I would like to announce the Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards. And these are in recognition of what we consider to be our top students, um, academically, socially, community-wise, on point. So three students are being recognized this year for Outstanding Academic Achievement. Those are Jack Hinckley, Eben Mosier, <laughs> need a step ladder, and Jane Thompson. These three students will be invited to speak at graduation next week uh, and share their parting thoughts with us. We look forward to it. At this time, would the class leaders please come forward for the closing remarks. We thank you for coming out tonight, especially those who've devoted to our class through scholarships and other means. C.S. Lewis said, children are not a distraction from more important work. They are more important work. With that sentiment, I'd like to thank all parents and staff, not only for coming out tonight, but for the years you've made sacrifices so that we could get where we are. Lastly, I'd like to thank my fellow peers for once again indulging me as I provide them with unsolicited quotes and lessons from history. 
At this time, I'd like to thank everyone for their generosity and support, and may God bless the class of 2023, and may God bless the United States of America. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us.